just did one eye so I'm gonna be showing you how to do it in the other eye and then I'm gonna do the rest of the face I'm gonna be taking the shape tape concealer in the color medium to prime my eyelids <clears throat> And then I'm gonna set it with my translucent powder. And this is the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. So for my crease, I'm gonna be using the Morphe 35OM palette. This is what the whole palette looks like. And this is the color I'm gonna be using for the lid. Basically the crease, I'm sorry. And then for the outer corner. And I'm gonna be using the Morphe E27 brush. It's a nice, very nice fluffy brush for the crease. And I'm just gonna build this color all over my crease. So I'm gonna start pretty low on my actual crease and then I'm gonna be blending up. I'm gonna be packing and packing until I get the desired depth that I want for the actual look. So I start very low, I take product, dust the rest of the product off, and I just pack it on the crease, and then I start um, blending outwards. And I have this color, I don't know what it's called, but it's like a color cleaner for your brushes, so if you don't have one of these, you need one, okay? Because this is a life savior. <laughs> this really makes it easier for you to clean your brushes in between, so you don't have to. So you can use the same brush if you want to use two different colors, or if you just don't want as much color on the brush to blend, for example. So I like to clean my brush a little bit, and then I start blending up. That way I don't have a lot of concentration of product on my brush. And then I start backing up my more product. That way you get that seamless look. So after I'm done with that and that I have the desired depth that I want on my crease, I'm gonna be making like a half cup crease. That way I can just make my um, eyelids a little bit higher. And that way my shimmery eyeshadow sticks up a lot more. before that dries, I'm gonna be setting it with my translucent powder. I know I look crazy right now. So now for my lip color, I'm gonna be using the Morphe 350S palette. And I'm gonna be using this color right here. It's more of like a yellow golden color. And I'm gonna be taking this uh, Mary Kay concealer brush. And I already wet it so that I can get a little bit more pigment from the color. And I'm gonna be placing it all over my lid. Picking up the crease, or the outer corner I mean, and also the crease. I'm gonna be using the same color that I used for my crease with the same brush. And just take a little bit more of that chocolate color that I used for my crease for the outer corner just to deepen that outer corner a little bit more so you get a little bit more depth in there and yes I have a tube on because girl I don't have um, air conditioning on right now so I'm not about to swim my hair okay <laughs> And then I also like to put a little bit on the crease, but just slightly, because I don't want to disturb that cut crease that we just did. So I clean my brush a little bit as well, and then I go back in and make sure that there's no hard edges, because I want everything to be very smoky and, you know, just everything to flow very nice and blend. And for my eyeliner, I'm gonna be using the Mary Kay Gel Liner. And it looks like this. This eyeliner is so amazing. It's in the color Jet Black. And it literally stays on all day. This eyeliner doesn't move. I love this 
so pretty. This is like a very summer look. Okay, so before I finish off with my eye look, I'm gonna go into my skin now and I'm gonna be using the NYX Angel Veil Skin Perfecting Primer together with the NYX Pore Filler. I'm just gonna apply that all over my face. The NYX Angel Veil and then the Pore Filler, I'm just gonna focus it on my teeth. And to correct all of my imperfections, you know that I love my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Yeah, I just love this stuff because I really don't need any color corrector, which I love. So that's why I tend to use this one. And then I'm just gonna blend everything out with a clean sponge. So now that everything is nice and blended and I look crazy, I look like a ghost right now. I'm gonna use my favorite my favorite foundation. I, I like other foundations and I'm gonna be using other foundations on my videos, but this is the one that I always go to. I don't know why, I just love it. Because I feel like this one helps my oils like not come out as fast as other foundations that I've used in the past. So, and this is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte in the color 108. Oh yeah, this is my foundation. I So now for my powder, you guys know the Sasha Buttercup is my thing. Powder works amazing for um, medium to deep skin tones. It gives you such a nice warm thing to do into your skin. Good, and I feel like this powder like kind of makes your skin look a little bit more smooth. So yeah, I love that. And I am gonna be baking. Face, I'm gonna be setting it with this R13 brush by Morphe, I believe it is. Because I tend to get a little bit dry on those areas where I have the breakouts and the acne scars, I tend to not really bake on those areas because I don't want it to look too like dry, you know what I mean? So I just like to pack the powder on in there and then just kind of dust everything else off. So, now to warm up my face, I'm gonna be using the Kat Von D's Shade and Light Palette, the Contour Palette. And I'm gonna be using this color right here, the very dark one, the warmest one that the palette has. And I'm gonna be using this Morphe R4 brush. I'm just gonna be warming up my face with this and contouring it as well. And I cannot stress this enough, but always make sure if you have any um, acne scars or any acne on this area, make sure you are very light, light-handed because you don't want to move that product around too much. So, yeah, that's it. I like to go in and sharp off my contour and I'm just gonna do that by getting my sponge and taking the same setting powder that I used and going in and sharpening it up. Sharpening it, that's the word. And I leave that on for literally like two seconds because I don't really want that area again to get too dry. So next I'm gonna be contouring my nose and you know I need a little help with that. So, <laughs> I'm gonna be taking the, kind of like the grayish color in the palette, in the Kat Von D Contour Palette, which is this one. And I'm gonna be taking this Morphe N503 brush. lines going down my nose right now and it looks kind of obvious that I contour my nose. 
I like to go in and bake the sides of my nose just so that those two lines get a little bit more diffused. And then I walk around like this. And I forgot to like blend it out. <laughs> that would be so horrible. And I'm gonna be taking my one and only <laughs> Studio, this is the VH Studio Pro Ultimate Brow Palette. I love it because, again, it has so many colors and you have powders, you have gels, so yeah, you can never go wrong with this. And it's really amazing quality that this product has. I mean, you can really read it. It will be really good if you are like a makeup artist, like a freelance makeup artist. This has so many shades, so you can just take this and you will have it for every single client that you have. So I'm going to be taking this gel brow liner or brow gel yeah, with this Morphe B74 brush. my current favorite and this is the Milani in the color Luminoso. It's just a beautiful peach, peachy bronzy with golden reflex on it, which I love. It's just so beautiful. God. Brush. Oh. oh, this one has a brush too, but I don't like to use the one that it comes with. So I just use this one. But this one I got in school. So yeah, as you know. I'm really excited for this moment. I think I might cry. I just got the Master Chrome by Maybelline. And you know how hard it is to get this? Well, it was actually not that hard. I just had to order it online. But for you to go get it in stores, it's not in stores. It's actually always out of stock. So for me to be able to get this baby, I'm like, can you just see it in the light? It's like so beautiful. I'm so excited. And this is like the first time I'm gonna use it. I actually swatched it on my hand and oh my God, it looks gorgeous. So I'm gonna be taking this e.l.f. brush. I believe this is probably like a blush brush by e.l.f. It, they don't really say a number on them. So, and I bought it so long time ago. And I like to spray a little bit of my NYX Matte Full Setting Spray on it. It's so creamy, I just, I can't. Oh my God. Can you see that though? Wow. I like to go in in my nose and take like a little detail brush and kind of define the high points of my nose so it makes it look a little bit higher and a little bit more structure, structure, thick. Take it on my inner corners. Also, what I like to do is I like to press the highlighter into my into my skin so that it kind of all mel melts into your skin and it looks a little bit more natural because we want to look natural. <laughs> I am also going to add a little bit on my collarbones so they. A little too. I'm gonna finish up my under eye and I'm gonna be applying the same color that I use for my crease and take it with this small flat brush. It's by Mary Kay, it's just a detail brush. When I'm done with that, I'm gonna be lining my waterline with this Sephora waterproof and liner. Alright guys, so this is, what this really does is really make sure eyes pop 
more and it makes them look a little bit um, bigger. So now for my eyelashes, I'm gonna be using these Big Shots uh, by Maybelline in the color, I think this is the Jet Black that they have. Okay, so for lashes today, I'm gonna be using the Summer by Yalor Lashes. I really, really love these lashes because they're very nice and wispy and just flirty and I freaking love them. So yeah, I'm gonna be putting this on and I'll be right back. Okay, so the lipstick that I'm gonna be using today is the ColourPop uh, Matte Liquid Lipstick in the color Creeper. It's literally my favorite. I think this has been my go-to summer color. I just, you'll see, can you see? And it is so pigmented. Can you see though? I love this lipstick because it makes your teeth look so white too. And it's just such a beautiful color for the summer and any occasion really, for any season, but I love it for the summer. Ah, I love it. So now I'm gonna set my whole face with the NYX uh, Matte Finish Setting Spray. Alright guys, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this makeup tutorial. I really had a lot of fun making it just because this is one of my favorite and go-to makeup looks for the summer. So thank you so much for tuning into my channel. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button if you did. And I will be doing a lot more videos like this and also hair videos. So don't forget to stay tuned for that. And I will see you on my next video. Bye guys. God bless.